hello hello guys uh here we have an hp marapod this is a nice machine it's almost new anyway it's not turning on at all and whenever i connect a charger you know the hp laptop right uh they have a light near the charging port so normally when you connect a charger you will have a white led light there but on this board we have nothing at all there's no light it's not turning on and it's not charging the battery anyway uh before we continue let's check for a schematic okay so what i do normally let's go to our desktop I have a folder there, shortcut folder there for schematic and uh, we have to search for this port using a port number. The port number for this model is A B. Okay, wait, why is not typing? Okay, it's A B uh, Q five two base and then L A base uh no 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 dash uh let's say dash c eight one one p enter okay no match you know why let's remove okay let's search like this okay no match why 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 this it's impossible okay let's pay ready to repeat i say la full space c eight one one p enter okay it doesn't appear i don't know why 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 let's try try this my daughter okay it doesn't appear at all anyway let's use a uh, modern number maybe i'll be able to pick the pot I'm looking for a modern number here. Can't see a modern number. Where is the modern number for this machine? Okay, anyway, uh it's okay. I can't find a schematic. All right, I can't find the schematic, guys. So what we do, we check for a short. Alright. Connect one prop to ground. I normally connect uh, the positive one to ground I will explain one day let's start with the 19 volts you check your 19 volts how do you check your 19 volts it's easy uh, I did uh, uh, many videos plenty of videos uh, regarding the 19 volts it's easy you start from there okay, let me use a microscope so that you will see clearly okay here we are let's check all right so when you are checking for 19 volts it's easy guys it's very 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 easy uh you have to start here always start here from there the dc in check this is a dc in check right is where you connect your your dc in jack right normally the 19 volt it's these two uh two pins there those dots it means it goes on the other side of of the board we can start from there connect one prop to ground and then let's start from there let's take this check for a short but obvious it's pointless to check here because there is nothing connected to ground uh all right so you move on you flip the port around all right here we are i think it's gonna go here on this side yeah bo we 
have two MOSFETs there. Yeah, bro. This is the first MOSFET. We have our first MOSFET there. You check on the first MOSFET. Oh, okay. No shots. You move on. Check on the other side. No shots to ground. And you check uh, here. No shots. What about here? Okay, we have a short there. It's shorted to, to ground. All right. Yeah, we have a short to ground here on the 19 volts after a second MOSFET. Anyway, today uh, I want to prove something. You know that you can you can uh, you can find shorted MOSFET you can see them physically I mean uh, you can find shorted capacitors you can see them physically only if only if you are looking for or for ceramic capacitors most of the times you can see capacitors if they are shorted or not I'm to show you a trick using a microscope you check them uh, like this Flip the port around. Let's check this ones. Okay, let's try to focus there. That one look funny. Is it that one? I can't see it clearly. Let's move on. But this is how you do it if you have a microscope you can even see it using your own eyes this is not the one and you check on the other side of that you only check for big capacitors okay since we are looking for a shorted 19 volt obvious it's gonna be those big ceramic capacitors there's no need to check for smaller ones this one is clean it's neat you can see right to right to right to right let's, let's check here it's easy and this is fast because i know some people they will, they will think it's a waste of time but it's easy okay these are clean so what you do you flip the pot Okay, these are neat. What about this tree here? All right, they are good. What about this two here? Okay, I can, can see it clearly here. Kapoom, there's a spike there. You can see it. That one bent there. Alright, I think we found our problem. And let's check for short. Let's check if that cap is short set. Or let's see before we even lie. Let's see. Where is it? I lost it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh there. So what you do you focus? Okay, take your meter. One pop to the ground, you check there. One side is short set, what about the other side? And there's a short. This is the one that was uh the one that was the, the one that looked bent. I'm not sure though. Uh, it's simple. Let's remove the capacitor. okay maybe i'm wrong but i've done this several times so i can literally see the shorted capacitors 
yeah i'm right this is shorted uh okay i'm right this is shorted i'm so happy all right so let's check for shorts again there one side is shorted what about the other side now there is no shorts after removing this cap we have no shorts means i was right okay And you, and you know what's funny we won't replace uh that cap we we'll only remove it and that's it there it is let's examine this capacitor does it look shorted or maybe it's my eyes but it's shorted according to a multimeter Oh, yeah yeah it is this side here there was a spike here so it's shorted guys we do have a light now uh let's see if the machine is turning on okay it's working fine uh yeah i hope you will learn something anyway don't forget to to press the subscribe button thank you so much